Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here is a quick flip through of my 2019 journal. Twenty nineteen was a really fun year, full of ups and downs and bursting with chaos. I'm the kind of person who likes to look back and remember fun moments, so I go into every year with the intention of chronicling my days as much as I can. Usually around the middle of the year, I start slowing down only because that's when I start getting into the flow of daily life. With uni, my job on the side, my commitments and social life, it can get quite hectic. The biggest problem I think I had was that I was used to having a relatively chill and boring life, but 2019 kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. And that was when I had stuff going on every day that even though I wanted to write down, um, I wouldn't find the time to write down, actually write it down. Because every day there would be something new and I would just kept and each event would just kept being pushed to the back burner. And the farther away the day was, the harder it got for me to actually write it down. But as you can see, I still tried. This was also um, the first time I've tried to actively incorporate as many visual elements into my journal. Before, I used to primarily rely on my words and my own thoughts to chronicle my days, but now I've realized that I can stick whatever the hell I want in my journal, in my notebook, and it helped a lot. I felt like I've unlocked a certain level of creativity I didn't realize I had. And it would be a challenge because I don't really like to print out pictures. Um, so I would ultimately, ultimately rely on whatever I had lying around. Hence, I have so many 
bits and pieces of paper from whatever it is that I went through. It used to make me feel guilty that I didn't write as much as I tell myself I would, but this was a year I finally made peace with it, if only because I've gotten comfortable with the pace that my life is going. I think I also got a lot of creative freedom from when I realized that I needed to fill up this notebook as much as I can because the year was ending quite soon. So I just started to write down whatever I wanted to-do lists and I didn't care as much about it not looking as nice. This year, I realized that I had a life to live now, and I could be happy even if I didn't necessarily know what I want.
Even if I don't know what changes 2020 will bring, I'm excited to see what it has to offer me. Thanks for listening. See you next time.